next up, we have the Kootenai Heritage Council, and speaking is board member Jim McMahon. Well, good evening. My name is Jim May. I'm here representing the Kootenai Heritage Council and the Libby Memorial Center. I want to thank the council for the opportunity. I think also I could just add that I think these are a great idea. And you folks are being here. Congratulations. You're the kind of people that keep this town moving forward. I have some questions of you. Uh, did you know that Gary Huntsberger has been the president of the Kootenai Heritage Council for a long, long time? <laughs> Any of you know that? And, and the, your response is perfect. Uh, Gary has kept this, he's kept this place going, the Memorial Center. And uh, some of us have gotten on board uh, to help him out a little bit, and the board has made some changes, and it's been a great thing to be a part of. Did you know that the Kootenai Heritage Council um, uh, has the job also of keeping the Memorial Center up and running? So there's two entities there, the Center and the, and the uh, Heritage Council. Did you know that the Memorial Center and the Kootenai Heritage Council are both now 20 years old? If you remember when that building got remodeled, and that was 20 years ago, folks. Um, Gary couldn't be here tonight. I've been asked to represent the rest of the Heritage Council board. So did you know that the board members are made up of volunteers uh, Lorraine Braun, Alyssa Ramirez, Devaney Felstead, Jennifer Nelson, Noel Gilmore, Scott Roush, and myself. Did you know that the, Kootenai, uh, that the Memorial Center is available for all kinds of events, from weddings to fundraising dinners to school performances and local drama productions. We've attended many of those. The facility has the flexibility to accommodate almost any event. Last winter, for example, there was a destination wedding here in town that some of you might be aware of. They rented Turner Mountain for three days, which doesn't happen anywhere, uh, just for themselves. They stayed at local hotels and frequented local businesses. And then they ended up with a very nice reception at the Memorial Center to wrap it all up. And they just loved Libby and loved the whole concept. I think it's a great uh, and unique marketing opportunity for our community. The Heritage Council also sponsored its annual performing arts series at the Memorial Center. After a very successful kickoff event last month, we hosted our first performer, country western singer Jessica Lynn, to probably our largest opening crowd ever. To find those artists for our performing arts series, some of the board members attend an annual performing arts consortium in Great Falls every January. Uh, we meet the performers, they get to meet us, we hear them, we uh, start to make initial contacts to see if they'll come to our community. Uh, our next show is November 14th. It's uh, a violinist and a fiddler named Mari Black. She's unbelievable. She's uh, very diverse and very talented. I have brochures and cards to uh, explain our series. Uh, if you want to see me afterwards, I really would encourage you to take one home if you don't have one already. The other thing we learned at this consortium is uh, about our facility and other facilities around the state. And the Libby Memorial Center is very unique. Um, first of all, it's the nicest place in the state. It has a very good reputation from the performers as being uh, uh, wonderful acoustics and our hospitality is the best in the state. Um, we also learned that we're the, only more, we're the only performing arts center that operates on its own, which is a good thing because we don't have to share the building with anyone. It also means that we are responsible for um, the upkeep. So there's been some challenges in that area, but we're working on it. Our, our sound system is currently 20 years old and uh, it's getting on its last legs and it's a bit obsolete. So we're in the process of getting bids and trying to figure out the most appropriate system for the center. Once we figure that out, we'll be looking for partners to help us reach our goal. And so watch for that down the pipe. Without an appropriate sound system, the Memorial Center just doesn't exist. The Heritage Council Board would like to invite you to our next performance on the 14th. We really appreciate this year our uh, benefactor contributors. Uh, we've asked some of the businesses to, to kick in and they responded well. And we really just want you to make the Performing Arts Series part of your plans. And so see me if you're uh, interested in the upcoming shows. We bring some amazing talent to Libby. Uh, and with that, I'd like to thank you for your attention and see if you have any questions. Mr. May. Oh, Mr. May. This one. 
Yeah. Maybe you could tell them about how they come to the schools. Oh, yeah, I was going to mention that. Thank you. Uh, every performer that we bring um, does an outreach to the schools. Um, it's, it's mandatory. We have to pay a little extra for them. But, uh, and Gary does a good job of spreading them around the county. In the past, they've been up to the, uh, oh, they've been to the Yak School, Troy. They've been to uh, uh, even the Turning Wind School one time. It gets to our elementary school, the Christian school. They had a performance once for the homeschool kids at the, uh, at the county library. Uh, it's a really uh, intimate opportunity for these kids to see these performers up close and personal. They talk to them about their life experiences and, be, and uh, what they went through to become a performer. Jessica Lynn spoke at the high school to some of our junior high and high school kids, and uh, you know she sang for them, which is amazing because these people are so talented. But she also talked to them about following their dreams and uh, don't give up on what you're trying to do, what it what it means to make it in the world, and. Uh, so thank you. Those the outreach programs are uh, you, your 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 grandkids or your kids will come home and tell you about it. Mari Black is performing, uh, doing an outreach for both the elementary and the high school before she performs on the 14th. So, um, with the kids can come at night after the outreach programs, and we don't charge for students to get in. We want them to be exposed to these arts. So, thank you for the question. Anything else? Thanks.